Next we have Sai. All right, okay, all right. So my monster represents my fear of loneliness. So I am very afraid of being alone and uh, losing my loved ones and not having the people I love around me. So this monster really disturbs me by coming at night and you know, giving me all the scenarios where I'm alone and it really affects me at times. Okay, do you want to give your monster a name? Hmm. Bobby? Bobby? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Do you have some reaction to Bobby? On how it's been bothering you at times? Okay. Bobby, you gotta stop disturbing me at night because I need to sleep. And I've got lots of things to do and I don't want to sit up all night thinking about those sick comments that you're giving me. So, listen. Keep quiet and sleep too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. What does it look like? It looks like a, uh, a teddy bear clown. Actually, it is horrible, but I mean it cute because it looks more presentable, but actually it's really horrible. Yeah, it's horrible feeling. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it is a clown because I think my fear is to look like one um, because I have a fear of failure and I, I am also aware that I have a black and white thinking style. So it's either I fail or I succeed and there's no in between. So if I fail, I will feel like a like a clown for even trying and that doesn't allow me to even explore anything because I don't want to look like one. So yeah, that's it and I don't like it. See, I love the way Tashar just picked up on something. The fear stops you from exploring yes. your potential yes. because if you're saying that it stops me from trying out things. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Well done, Tasha. I just want you to kind of like respond to your monster. What would you give it a name? Um, Clown Natasha. Clown <laughs> Natasha. Okay. Anything you want to say to Clown Natasha? All right, Natasha. It's okay to fail. And if you fail, you're not starting from zero. You're starting from experience and it's fine. That's it. So have it. Yes. And now it's time for me to review my monster. All right. Okay, wow. Yeah. That's elaborate. <laughs> okay. You know, it took a while for me to actually go to the saloon to get it done. Please describe your monster. Okay, okay, so basically, my inner monster is known as Medusa. And of course, like always suffer from fears, right? And I believe that the fear that, that is what we portrayed is always false evidence appearing real. And I'm, I acknowledge the fact that I overthink all the time. All the time, all thing. As you can see, that each and every snake here it has an elaborations of my weaknesses. Can like, you name us a few? I see a lot of writing there. Uh, yeah, the writings. Yeah, it's written high expectation. I have high expectation for myself. I have my high standards, and I have I have lowest self esteem at times. I'm afraid of abandonment, and at times I have high ego, insecurities. Stubbornness, um, attachments, delusional, and self saboteur. Yeah. Can we give Sunshine a big hand? That's so That's what you did. That is yes. remarkable. You have literally gone in and brought out everything that you feel that's deep. What would you like to say to Medusa? <laughs> just quiet, quiet. Just stay cool, just stay silent, Sunshine. Listen to your heart, listen to your soul, whatever you want to attain in life, you can do it. It's just that you need to stop all those noises in your head instantly. Well done, well done. So are you going to allow these voices to stop you from getting ahead in your life and live the best life you can possibly achieve? Nope. No. No. Yeah. Daniel, you mentioned that sometimes when you compare yourself and you look upon another person and you see that they are better than you, they seem to be performing so remarkably good on stage and then you start comparing. Again, that begins with self-doubt. I want you to go back inside and ask yourself, what is that voice actually saying to you? Uh, for me, it's uh, basically it's to learn from others. That's okay. what I like. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. You are done on spot. <laughs> Yes. Do you think that voice is real? No, I don't think so. Mm. I think um, it's just uh, myself uh, thinking it's always something others. Yes, yes. What do you think it's trying to tell you if you dig deep enough? I think it's trying to tell me to improve myself in certain areas. Yes, yes. Growth is enjoyment of life. 
So for you, Sophia, you just hit on the spot as well. It is about growth. It's not saying raise your bar, Sophia, because I know that inner you wants you to go beyond. It wants you to explore and really enjoy the capacity of life, right? So it's telling you, go explore, grab it. So I want to come, uh, all of you to come now to your, what I would call the monster previously and beautify it, befriend it. <laughs> Let's do this. Be your best. 